now I just move that original one away and put the new one and we'll power ignition for sure key not on range so go to Volkswagen Diag NEC 24C 64 Okay uh, We'll also try to read Ibram and Flash I know and I'm sure that Can't go but we'll try Can't find a working key Okay so we will deal with it as all key lost then um, I will just disassemble and see if I have the same hardware on Pogo Pen to reset and um, see what happens okay just wait now this one is the new one I removed the blue needles and these covers also that one with the screen and if you look here you can see the apron that we are talking about <clears throat> if you open uh, BBDI tool software and go here uh, key learn fourth to that one which the BBDI tool identified that cluster as NEC was 24C64 uh, Go to hit that Okay Service mode Here that we want To know ABS is already uh, The coding of it is already backed up Here we need to read the APROM With a BDM programmer like VVDI PROG That APROM then prepare the service apron and write it back then connect with obd2 to write the original one so i will close all of these the first thing you need to do is to open uh, vvdi prog which is already connected there also 12 volts power connected to it we'll connect also the clip that way and say okay from ST I forget the name Okay. I don't know where it's gone. This one. Okay. So read. <laughs> Operation success. This one is the original from So I will save. Go to test. 
MK6 that one is for the new cluster to make a folder as new here I will write with uh, will write 4C okay uh, will write BDM VDI probe original also okay then save will minimize that open VDI 2 yes Volkswagen Keyler for that one service mode prepare okay new that one press okay to save service mode open file warning do not write the original file okay when you foresee it's 64 BDM service okay then save close close yes minimize maybe die prog open service right yes everything added verify Operation success, check success. Now disconnect power, remove the clip. Now I will connect that with that connector and OBD. Okay, then write the original APROM with VBDI 2. That's what Valdemar told me. So I will um, just remove VBDI prog and connect that one uh, and here with that blue connector and to this power with obd2 if you have the car you can go to do that also on the car okay wait we'll come back again now i assembled that plastic cover with the screen and that ribbon cable and connected vvdi2 connected also the blue connector back from here and power on i'm sorry we'll take that out power on also that one and that one check brake pads button for driver error brakes notice uh, it didn't say key not in range and moved vivid iprog is there check coolant good so I will close uh, vivid iprog and open vivid i2 yes now I need to write the original APROM back again by OBD2 by VVDI2 not PROG uh, Keyler fourth that one that one okay load file uh, original Uh, write the apron. Do you save the apron before write it? If saved, continue. Else, save apron first. Yes. Uh, next. Start security login. 
writing data, please wait. Write data success reset instrument after all the operation is finished. Now, if you read that back to main window by OBD, load the original apron dump and write back to the curve OBD2. Read the emo data and save it. Now, it is supposed to read the emo data. Here also range add washer fluid. Till now, I didn't see what is the antenna here. Nothing is there. So now, it's supposed to read the emo data login method one. Next, reading emo data success. Save. Uh, Emo. Emo. Okay. Save. Load file. Original. Okay. Emo. Is the uh, is current load file? Emo data. Yes. Okay. Now this is the original. Emo data. Uh, write emo data yes one next write data success reset an instrument after all operation is finished okay now i will reset an instrument and reset success notice here says key not in range and nothing here so I will bring the original key and insert it here, turn the ignition off, okay, and on, check brake pads, now everything is okay. We'll do it once again. Ignition off, take the key out. Ignition on, key not in range. Ignition off, insert the key. Ignition on, check brake pads. Okay, excellent. After that, I will go and assemble that cluster on the car and add another key with that one okay thanks for watching